Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures in this year, Mass Effect 2. Uh, it, it hasn't been that long since we last played. Last time, if I, my brain isn't just flooding from my head case and pouring onto the floor, we went and uh, invaded a... Almost said Geth, but no, not Geth. They're a different enemy. Invaded a collector ship in which we uh, kind of got betrayed, but not really. Just overly paranoid on the elusive man's part. And he's like, ah, I had to. I don't know how far their like reach goes or whatever. And we managed to escape. Now we need to get like a IFF thingy so that we can properly go through the Omega-4 relay. And because we have the option to not do that, we're not going to do that. Uh, and the only reason we didn't end on that was because I looked at my journal, and I was just like, gee, I wonder what's in my journal. And then I go, tally. <laughs> it was just like, I can do tallies, loyalty missions. So we just went and did that for an hour after I said I was going to stop because of brain. Today, we are going to go about... Like, uh, loyalty missions and just side things. But, uh, before we do all that, I think we will first go about and look for, uh, like, anomalies on planets. Just to make sure nobody else wants to talk to me. I think we have everybody's How may I help you, Commander? loyalty mission lined yeah. up. Anything else, Commander? That'll be but I'll still yeah. want to talk to everybody. But yeah, today... We're going to begin by uh, going to various places to hopefully, like, uh, go about and... I guess I'll buy five more probes. But we're gonna explore for anomalies. I will skip you and head to Micah first. Thank you, Samara, for your wonderful upgrade. Your upgrade is godly. We don't really need resources. We're mostly just looking for anomalies. So we'll do a quick scan of planets. Because, I mean, for God's sakes, I don't think that we've gone below 300,000 for Iridium and Palladium or 200,000 for uh, Platinum. The only one that I'm mildly worried about is Element Zero, but only mildly. I do not think. I think that's the highest Palladium spike I've ever seen. But yeah, we're mostly just looking for anomalies. We're not looking for, like, full-on resource strip mining. We just look at two or three resource spikes on a planet and we move along looking for anomalies because we have freedom to do missions as we blocks I just realized they could have been major dicks and just been like haha you if you want to find an anomaly you have to like find it yourself which would just been Majorly annoying. I just realized I forgot to start my timer because you know the timer that I always ignore, even though I really shouldn't. But and and I started my timer. This planet has been saved from strip mining. Sponsor my my uh my phone my timer. Launching probe. Yeah, more than likely, we'll just go planet to planet, primarily looking probe. for resources to ignore as we look for our real friends, planets for anomalies, and there's one more hiding around, and it's not near the, the sun this time. Ah, there you are. If you know what you're looking for, you can find them. So yeah. 
Super Spike Development Zero? Oh, yes, please. Launched. Hilarious that once I get my super upgrades of probes and fuel, so I'm like, hell yeah! I'm at the state where I'm like, I actually don't care about resources. I just want to go planet to planet to look for missions now. Lol, this amuses me. If there's a single bloody planet here, it has a shit ton of element zero, apparently. So sure. Since, uh, how quick we. Oh, and more element zero. And that's it in this neck of the woods. There was one planet. That kind of amuses me. Stock up, five fuel, five probes, just in case. And now, Shrike Abyssal. That sounds scary. Let's see. Alright, first we're gonna go for this terrifyingly named thing. Because why not? As we primarily just look for anomalies. They come out of nowhere. It'll take a while to find them. So we're not, luckily we don't have to worry. At this point, maybe I should just quick search. Enter, scan, no anomaly, leave. Because I, I did the thing again, I'm a failure. I wonder if there is a different way of getting out of this without... No, that no, doesn't look like it. Hey. I have detected an anomaly. Anomaly time! I have found something. Anomaly detected. Scans show a crude base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood pack mercenary protocols. Numerous life signs matching Vorcha genealogy detected. The base's material resources match our data on weapons manufacturing components. Let us go smash them up. Let's see. We'll bring Loyal Tally. And Garrus. Just go. Wait. Uh, cycle appearance. Interesting. I wonder why you have two appearances already. What about you? That's an interesting look. Let's go with that one. Come along, my friends. So, so that's how we actually activate their diddly doo dee dee. Yeah, even though these are probably just minor missions that are like. Uh, replacements for the random pirate outposts. I'm a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. I still want to do it. Datapad already here. Kalusk. You'll get the resources when they're good and ready. You want to come mine these rocks yourself? Everything will be ready for the attack. If you'd gotten me the additional fortune I asked for, it would have been done by now. Salamo. Sally Man, Salamander, Bob. There's a box there, so I'm scared of an attack. Oh, there's where we're going. You know, all these boxes, and there's nobody here. Another data pad. I'm sending back two of the vulture you sent me so that you can see that I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you're not on these morons. These piss poor shots are more likely to blast the broadside of one of your generators than hit their intended target. Maybe once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some goddamn assistance. I relate to the poor man. Oh, hey. Die. Die. Look out! Die. You will not kill me, I am unkillable. 
You ever die to a shot to the foot? The shoulder I more understand. Slightly. Leave my girl alone. And plus we find a decent amount of palladium and iridium and platinum and missions, so I'm not like terrible on resources even if we decide. Die. This should soften them up. Garrus, you better find good yeah. Leave the boy alone. Ah, flick shot that normally would have missed. You're damn right you're bleeding, and I'm gonna make sure you bleed even into hell. To hell with your bleeding. To hell with you. Because this, for a moment, I was like, this looks like a wall that can be blown up. I kind of miss my free fl with flea. Free throw grenades. Brain did not want to know what words to use there. I should probably save because I'm scared. Not really scared about anything. I'm just more scared that, like, random enemy that does tons of damage shows up and I play poorly. Like, against that, uh, what it, what's it, what's it, what? The thing that's like, I'm going to create a barrier and I have tons of human skulls. That's terrible cover. Leave friend alone. Enemy charging. Oh. Colossus. God, this guy. I've got no shield. Dang it. Interesting. He charged at the combat drone. Uh. That Vortro was confused. Oh. Uh. Probably shouldn't do that with my actual gun that I want to use. First, I want to make sure there isn't anything I can grab here. Interesting. Let's take a closer look. At what? This? The thing I'm gonna blow up? Oh! I just want to blow it up. So I shall. We have to go now. Ah, I'm gonna die. What? What game? Oh! Like evacuate, evacuate. Interesting. This looks interesting. Demolish Blood Pack Weapons Production Facility, even though it didn't really look like that. Decimated Blood Pack Vorture Soldiers. I got heavy weapon ammo. Yay. And credits. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. I did. I went about. A pleasure to meet you. Admiral Daro Zin Vasmora. Shepherd Vos Normandy, I've been digging through the uh, uh, Lare. Just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Rail Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch me from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim not just their homeworld, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Rail Zora's death will not have been in vain. I'll complete what he started. Yeah, for some reason, I don't think the Geth are going to let you do that. 
How may I help you, Commander? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Goodbye. I'll be here if you need anything. I don't think anything would happen over a minor mission like that. And now we'll just scan this planet for completion. Would be hilarious if anomaly detected. It's just like two. And I don't think the blood pack would set, set something up so close to somebody else. I forgot to buy. Uh, fuel at one half capacity. And it's a pretty big half, at least. So we don't have to worry. Ah, it's a poor planet. Oh wait, nope, it's a rich planet. We'll leave it alone anyway. It's a planet. I don't care. I have resources for days. And like, once we actually get low, like I don't know, at a hundred thousand or so of each, maybe, or at least for that one, I'll start taking more. Yeah, once we reach about a hundred thousand or so of a diddly D, then we'll be like, okay, we'll be on the lookout and reap the benefits of our 60 probes. I did the thing again. My brain is just like, press escape to leave menu. And this is technically a menu. Again, game, you already cut down like two or three menus we have to go through. Just by this, the nature of this, between the individual stars is like an actual thing we do. So it's not like a menu we have to scrub through to get back to Shepard. When it comes to, like, a, and then the mass relay jump, this section is also out. It's like we don't have much to really worry about. One downside of being like, hey, I'm not going to do all that just yet. It's like, look at the list of things you can do. And I'm just like, later. It's like, fine, we're going to cover up what you look at. Relic and a moon. We'll go this way to Strabo just to get it out of the way. So we can buy Diddly D back on the way through. No. There ain't no anomaly here. Sadness. And that's a hundred percent. I find that hilarious. I fly through stars, fear me. Alright. I might be able to hit all three of these star systems without having to go back for fuel. This world's kind of purple. Uh, now that's a lot of element zero. Launching probe. The praying mouth is what this is called. I'm always down for some E zero. And of course, we wouldn't be able to land on that planet. It would be too interesting. Or toxic. Neither or. Probe launched. I'm still ever thankful that I got, I played through Mass Effect 1, if only for the resource boosts in this game. There's a lot of goddamn planets here. Probe away. Another reason why I don't want to just go about Launching probe. fully strip mining planets anymore is it's very boring. There isn't much to talk about. 
It's just, I'm strip mining another planet. I'm strip mining another planet. I'm strip mining another planet. And I don't want to do that off stream because I might run into an anomaly. And that's the thing. If it was like purely easy to just go and be like, yeah, screw it, I'll just strip mine planets in my off time so people don't have to like uh, sit through me strip mining, getting materials because it is boring. And it's similar to the reason why I didn't do the same similar thing in Mass Effect 1. I didn't go, re like, relay place to relay place just seeking out surveys and stuff was because you randomly get missions from Admiral Hackett when you enter a system. So in this one, it's basically a similar thing. Hey, here's this mildly grindy thing that's purely inconvenient for somebody like me that wants to do as much as possible on stream. Which is why I only mildly poke at the things that are mater like materially there. Quick glance, go blah, I leave. I'm here. Find more planets. More planets that are safe. Ooh, anomaly time. Anomaly. Surface scans indicate wreckage of a merchant freighter. Configuration unknown. Damage to ship catastrophic. Detecting movement, but no signs of organic life. Hmm. I wonder if any of these might be, like, related to anything. Like, if there were other missions we could have found and done. Or, like, be asked to do. And then we was like, nah, I found it already. Kind of like the Samara's sister that we killed because we just ran into her. It was like, hey, I was hoping you'd kill my sister. I already did. Uh -huh. How grand. Investigate the shipwreck. Storm is approaching from the northwest. Proceed with caution. Sandstorm. Very interesting. Engineering. Engineering status catas compromise. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element zero exposure levels critical. Fuel leaks throughout the engineering deck. Navigation critical, manual control of navigation impossible. VI control locked out by executive command authorization. Diddly D. Sensor status compromised. Short range sensors offline. Unsafe planetary proximity detected at 0700 hours. Life support compromised. Life support returning to safe levels. VI control locked out. Executive command. Shield status normal. Shields holding at 100% integrity. No shield breaches detected. VI network compromised. Combating potential into contagion. VI control of critical systems locked out by executive command. Communications compromised. Damaged communications array critical. Yes, butterflies. I'm mostly just looking around in case there was anything behind the ship. I doubt we could actually walk up those hills, so... Best to really worry about. Movement, but no organic signs of life. Captain, short-range sensors just went offline and I'm locked out of helm control. The VI is reporting malfunctions all over the ship. Hmm. So it sounds like the VI was going, everything is bad. And locking people out, so they locked the VI out. Attention all hands. We are on a collision course and losing systems fast. Report to the escape pods immediately. This is not a drill. Glance around this section. Lots of... Things are going to come out of the goddamn boxes, aren't they? There's way too many boxes. Way too many boxes with red lights and far too many chest high walls to hide behind. I'm gonna save. 
I definitely feel like we're gonna get ambushed. Shipping manifest. Reflective mech armor. Porting crates of reflective mech armor. Source Jahara Station. Destination ERCS facility. Yamir mech. One Yamir mech. Source. And 180 Loki. Fuck. We're not gonna have to deal with all of the mech. What if even half of the frickin' mechs survived? That's gonna be a not fun time. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. Trent, we've got a problem in the cargo bay. Marcus. This would happen. They're not coming out of the boxes, which is sadly anticlimactic. I could use that since. Oh, sandstorm! Bloody sandstorm! Hopefully it's not going to block too much. Oh, so you get to get angry when I get in your vision. But when you get my vision, you're like, Shepard, stop shooting at me. Most definitely. Dang it. No survivors. Deactivated distress beacon. And you see, that is partly why you don't want an AI army. That can happen. Or, you know, just the original Geth invasion. It's not even invasion, it was a rebellion. How dare these slaves that we created to be slaves rebel against us? Especially when you shoot the first shot. All they were asking was just like, hey, do I exist? Yes. We must eradicate them all. Like, I'm not saying it wasn't the, like, uh, immediately logical move, but it was also the logical move on the Geth's part to want to not die. 
All I'm saying is, everybody had a the right answer at the time to a degree. You created an AI, like, being slave force, and it began to think for itself. Your immediate reaction is, we need to stop this, they could prove dangerous. And the AI is just like, I don't want to die. So yeah, it's just like, you can't really fault either side to a degree. Although I would say after the Geth won, the Quarians should kind of, I don't know. Probe. Find a new home, broker peace. Because the Geth won. And again, I don't know if the Geth that Sauron, Saren recruited are accurate of all Geth. Were the Krogans that were born in the tubes of Vermeer? Representative of all Krogan? No. Some Krogan are Blood Pack. Some are Erdnot. launched. You can't just blame an entire, especially brand new species. But at the same time. We've only had bad experiences with Geth. But that's only because they haven't left their home veil for five billion years. Apparently. Wait. What? Oh, we were just there and it was one planet. What? I'm confused. <laughs> what? We were literally just there, and it was one planet, right? And it said 100% done. Right? I could have sworn. Well, head over there because it says, hey, search the thing. But I'm just confused. It said one. There was only one, and there was one, and we left. It was 100%. Now it's like, look at the thing. And I was just like, what thing? It was like, eh, okay, fine. Maybe we'll even be able to get there on one tank of gas. I forgot what I was talking about, like what inside- oh yeah. I was talking about why the mechs on that planet from the crashed ship were a bad I like a, a nice study force of why AI army bad. Because if it's a true AI and it can think for itself, maybe 50-50 it could think for itself, but it's also autonomous. It's not really a, a thing you can use against its will because it has a will now. Whereas VI is basically nightmare scenario what we have now. Thing that can doesn't really think for itself, but has its own parameters of thought and code and such. Just can go crazy. Let's see. I think I can make it. We can definitely make it. Investigate? I guess we got that from the... Like, uh, the crashed ship, maybe. Oh, uh, fine. Enter orbit. Jarahe Station. Location coordinates. Strabo System Eagle Nebula data mining confirms the la last report location of merchant freighter MSV Corsica as the Jerry Station in the Strabo System. Possibility exists that clues pertain to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of the mechs aboard. Uh, Corsica can be found aboard Jerry Station. All right, interesting. Once more, with passion. This has a unique landing animation. Oh. I wonder if we would have been called here by outside forces.
seriously, would we have... I'm beginning to feel like I shouldn't be looking around this much, but at the same time, I want to look around. Escape Jarry Station? But we just got here! Read PDA. Dr. Galwind had my suggestion we have cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own. It wants us to activate power again. How do these doors have power? They're powered doors. Docking area power restored. Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. Sorry, VI. Detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. You are not authorized to kill humans. Dr. Galwind, my firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is to just do nothing to convince her that we're not a threat. Well, considering that you're dead. Sorry, VI, you killed people. At the same time... Yeah, the goal is just to leave. to go. Hey, fuck it. Power outage detected. Station mainframe is locked down. Ah. I want to enter there. But it does seem like it wants us to leave. I say, screw you. You killed people. You're an outraged uh, VI. Attention all docks of personnel. We are expecting a shipment of mechs part from... And also, this is the reason, it probably infected the virus that is causing it to think everything is a virus and causing, like, self, like, a diddly-dee. So, yeah. Another reason we have to shut you down, sorry. You've killed people. Screw you, VI. Yeah, at the end of the day... You have killed people. And you do not seem to be wanting to stop that. Have been closed to quarantine a threat to this station. Advise intruders to engage self-destruct procedures to avoid death by two doors enabled. All doors disabled. Two doors enabled. Three doors enabled. To the other room. All doors disabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. Wow, well, there we go. I was going to do a funky little thing where I get. All right, you just teleported in. Where I just get in here, and then I'll. I would have done a thing where I got a certain combination to then go to the exit. Basically, I just needed this one and that one unlocked, and then I would have wanted these three unlocked to leave. But no, I could just unlock all of them. But yeah, sorry, VI. All intruders intentionally violating quarantine are requested to exit the station immediately. All VIs that are going crazy and killing everyone aboard at the station are suggested to shut the fuck up immediately. Result in serious injury or 
Kennings, I'm positive that the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Taleson is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find everything that was on that ship. So... The thing docked and probably accidentally inflicted a virus. All attempts to decontaminate station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. Maintenance area power restored. But yeah, don't really have much sympathy for Durobut right now. A little bit. But it's still like you're killing people. killing people, and I'm going to get in there and I'm going to stop you. Because whatever was on the crashed ship... You have been identified as a hostile intruder. You're a hostile space station. Lab access. Research area power restored. Personnel are dead because of you, presumably, from the horror logs. Deactivated Jerry Station security protocols. Escape the station. Never mind. Huh. You'd think there would be, like, more conversation to that. But no. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Alright, last known docking coordinates. We got... Oh, from Edie. Information acquired. So that's how we got there. Source of virus detected. Planet information. Kappa Haskins system. Titan Nebula. Data from the quarantine VI at Jerry Station indicates that a possible source of the VI virus outbreak is a Han Keter facility on the planet Kapek. Coordinations have been downloaded. Ah, so this is like a mini thing we just stumbled upon? Interesting. We just accidentally stumbled upon a quest line. We have used half our fuel. That's interesting. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. It very uh, encourages going out there and doing stuff. Just, hey, find a quest line that isn't given to you by anybody. You just found a distress beacon anomaly on a planet. And you're like, what caused this? And then you follow the breadcrumbs all over the universe. That scares me. We're gonna have to avoid that planet, like the plague. Hmm. Hades Nexus. Houston Rift. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and come over here since that's where the current side thing is. And we'll just go about diddly-ding. 
Oh, and it's nice and contained. So it'll wipe this off our dinner. So another Again, VI. Surface scans detect mech production facility matching the registration parameters of Hani Kadar uh, Corporation. Facility reports emergency lockdown at this facility. Personnel scans report no living beings inside. Hazard scans show a large number of virus infected mechs quarantined within the facility. Deactivation of the primary production line controls should disrupt. Alright, so I'm wondering where the virus started and where our final companion is. We're over halfway through this game. Uh, easily. We could be entering endgame for all I know, and this is the finish all quests before story segment. Oh, hey. 2D grass. That's kind of amusing. It looks good from an angle. But it's not always an angle that you're looking at it. Die. Incoming. Die. That's what we came expecting. It looked to kiss. Instead, it died. But yeah, I'm just kind of baffled by this grass design. Again, from an angle, it looks fine, but you're not, you're, you're not seen at, a, at an angle all the time. It's horrifying. I wonder how it'll begin. Attention! MX755248 OPU, uh, OPU recall notice. Our new circuit board supplier has issued an immediate recall which has been found to cause systematic breakdown of associated components. We have begun to search for a new supplier. In the meantime, discontinue the use of it until further notice. No response. Just a I, we lost contact with the Corsica. After you expressed concern, I checked the logs, and indeed the mechs and parts they contained, uh, picked up contained the recalled OPUs. We know the Corsica was headed for Jarhe's uh, station in the Strabo system, but we can't seem to contact them. I hope they're all okay. They're not. Our emergency situation in progress. I'm getting reports of mech steam uh, coming off our production lines and assaulting workers. Some of them seem to be self-destructing at random. Even units not initially installed with a faulty OPU are showing signs of viral infection. We're looking at a potential facility-wide catastrophe here. Announcement, facility lockdown. Dr. Rochelle uh, has ordered a complete lockdown. You are hereby ordered to seal the production line access corridor from the rest of the facility. I realize that doing this will seal me and any workers who remain inside the, uh, with the malfunctioning mechs. This does not affect your orders. It has been an honor. Rude. Do you think anyone's still here? No. We literally scanned and saw no living life signs. I've located the Asari, Dr. Talaras, in the production line to access corridor. We've set up a barricade and disabled access to the rest of the corridor. I secured Dr. Talarasan and I'm heading to the warehouse to access the production line control room. I'll update once I'm in. I'm in the warehouse. It seems pretty empty, sir. I can see the control room just above the storage area. I might need a few minutes, but I'm pretty sure I can get the main production line shut down. Doesn't look like he succeeded. They've seen us. Incorrect. We've seen them. Keep forgetting that they actually explode upon death. They're just not giant like the diddly d god dudes. Granted, they're called Lokis. If Loki's a god. But I still want to know. Hostile forces, you are the hostile force. Yeah, this is interesting. Stop 
Ah, we just saw them through there. Thank you that you're self-destruct sent your own units flying. Yep, she'll just get up on her own. So you don't have to waste Metagel. I'm being thrifty. Like a corporation. Subdue and suppress. Subdue and suppress. Ah, you mean murder. That's what you're saying. You want murder. Come out of Coming. cover. I heard. Yeah. Oh, and it's also possible that just going through here will always have more mechs coming at me because they're coming off the goddamn production line. On your six. behind you be interesting to discover like it can't just be a faulty OPU knowing the capitalistic hellhole of the universe I could totally see a corporation got hacked and a virus was uploaded to the OPUs but they didn't want to admit it because that would uh, be bad on their part all right blue orange blue Bunch of white, orange, green. Yeah, it was right there. Huh. Shut down this place. Lol. Then they all explode. Why? I guess we set them to explode, but we couldn't just turn them off. Interesting little side mission thing. Shut down the Han He Kedar Experimental Mechanics Facilities production line of Kabek. Deactivated all infected mechs. No new messages. That must be the f last of it. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of disappointed that there's nothing else to it, but... Hmm. What you gonna do? Alright, we'll go to the Mi Minos Wasteland, looking for more anomalies to look for. Because we found a decent amount of anomalies. I have detected an anomaly. Another distress call. I have found something. Anomaly. Surface scans report of potential alien signatures from within the mining facility. Anomalous life signs detected. Whereabouts of facility staff unknown. Also, I just have to ask, why the hell are they... Do they have, like, a experimental production facility out in the... Well, maybe we're not in the Terminus systems. I am kind of flying about everywhere. The council said, keep to the Terminus system. And I just kind of shrugged and do whatever I want. And 
Ah, uh, fuck. It's Husk. And a skeleton? I think it was only like once. I think I've only seen one skeleton in these games. We stole from a skeleton. Papyrus will be so sad. They've seen us. By seen us, you mean in our immediate vicinity of sight. If you're reading this, get the hell out of this place. They're not wrong. Thing is, none of these things are gonna carry ammo. What the hell did they find down here? I fucking split you in half! I should probably swap. Die! Ah! I can do that too. Enemy! Abomination! Really horrifying. What the hell happened here? For a moment, I thought that was a husk coming up behind me. No, it's just the girl. My girl. You ever just mistake your girl for a uh, abomination? We've got trouble. Die. <laughs> alien machine discovered. Smithson, Smithson's men dug out some kind of alien machine today, like nothing I ever saw. Called up some of my contacts and found out there's a market for this kind of thing. Looks like some squints over at Al Alinus Risk Control are willing to part with a ton of credits to get their hands on one of these things. Uh, strange glow. Cooper and Jorgensen say they saw the damned alien thing glowing in hell if I'm going, going near it to prove them wrong. I don't get paid enough to expose myself to weird alien artifacts, so I have to admit it, though. That's an awfully pretty sound com uh, coming from the back room. Something's different. Cooper, Jorgensen, and them ain't doing so well. Not feeling so good myself, either. Stay near the machine, feel better. Not sure I want to let them Alanis folk take it. Think it should stay right here with us. Horrifying. Found an alien artifact. Let's leave. Are they just perpetual? I call shenanigans if they're perpetual. Don't 
tell me I have to leave all the loot behind. There's just so many of them. Damn it. Destroyed Reaper indoctrination device. Rude. And there goes the majority of my diddly -dee. My powers. My power weapons. My weapons power. I wonder if the final ally that we can get, the final campaign, uh, not campaign, the final companion will have an upgrade for us like everyone else. Oi pond. Launching probe. Give me all of that there, platinum. Hastus. Pretty far away for a system with no dippy dop refueling station. Probe away. Then again, how can you expect there to be a refueling station in every Mass Effect port? Probe Just launched. not feasible. Space gas prices must be astronomical. It's not even a anomaly, it's just... Hey, resources, you came this far. You fought so hard. But you got element zero, so that makes it okay. Oh yeah, we still need to go there so we can say, Hey, Scout Man! We finished your mission. We're gonna quickly buy a few. Um, before we do, let me just check the journal. Janka, yep, missing blood scout. Or not missing blood scout, but it said there was blood and it was just like, oh, blood pack. And it was just like, wait, wait, that's not the mission. Brain went all over the place. Brain went everywhere. What the fuck's around you? They're like multiple moons. Launching probe. That were like visible. I'm sure if I actually read the bio of this place, it would mention them, but. Once again, no anomalies. Feed my AI! <laughs> Make it happy with anomaly power! There's gonna be a fourth. Oh, you're tiny, so I missed you. It was just like, hmm, 25%, and I just kind of ig ignored one of the rings that's like, this is the orbit of a planet. I'm like, but it's not big, so therefore it's not there. Look at this tiny bastard. Look at the tiny bastard. It's so fucking tiny, it can fit in the palm of my hand. Probe launched. I'd be like the Buddha. Since we have so much fuel. Okay, that's a big fucking star. I think that star would eat me if it if I let it. 
launching probe. I'm going to see what happens if I fly into that sun. Because I'm just that kind of guy. Seriously, it's huge. Completely and utterly huge. Element zero. That's a Lilo and Stitch fanfiction waiting to happen. Lol, we can just go into a, a giant fuck off sun. It would be kind of annoying if they put something like that in the game and then you flew into it and died. But at the same time, it would be hilarious. I think planets with a sun that big could afford more resources. And we're gonna head back, stock up on fuel, go report in the thing so we can just put that out of the way. Get it out of my journal. Get out of my journal. Get out of my journal. We're just going down there to talk to a guy because we forgot to talk to him about his missing scout. Even though the scout reported in and sent me an email. No. Not good enough. We have to report directly in. Me. As we report in with the Captain Manton. Ignore them, though. They're not worth. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. <laughs> You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. Goodbye. Talk to you later. This Varen could track you anywhere. <laughs> Good, now it's out of my assignments. And that's enough for me. That's an interesting sound effect. It's like somebody was dying and they modulated it. That's out of the way now. Back to the Normandy. And, and then we don't have anything else to do. Kind of weird that the chunk is all the way over there, but we exited there. Peculiarities. Hmm. Gander about. Hades Nexus, the Nubian Expanse. Alright, so we'll hit the Calestian Rift, Hades Nexus. And then we'll decide on who's diddly D. Loyalty mission to do first. We'll probably do Garrus, then Jacob, then Miranda, 
Looks like it depends on where everybody's thing is. If somebody's... Repeat, there's a piece of crab mech on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it launched, you're freaking welcome to it. Something on our sensors. Surface scans detect one Ymir heavy mech signature matching an unknown, possibly pirate registration. Mech appears to be disabled, but broadcasting a looping message. Message does not appear to be distress signal. Resource scans indicate large quantities of mineral resources available, but obscured behind walls of dense stone. But yeah, basically it depends on who I want to do first, like Garrus, and then uh, if anybody else is around them. Like if somebody else is at the Citadel, or Ilium, or something. Maybe this By is our next companion. Heavy explosives will be required to excavate them. Data pad. I paid Herod good money for this useless heap of signal error error detected in serious caches of resources here on this planet, but memory leak detected. All right, I said sure. The thing leaks fuel like a volus after a mug a gov rein call, but I can deal with that. So I took off and laid out a trail of power cells leading from where I unloaded the mech to bad package please restart so I could at least get the thing moving, but now illegal fault detected. I won't even move, damn thing. That swindling Elcor. Piece of signal error. Quite amusing, but I am Hackmaster. I am the Hackster. We'll probably have to look around for even more power cells. Nope, no other power cells. Please don't shoot me. Shooting at random. Put the power cell in a weird place, man. So that I wouldn't like step on it. So the pirate, or whoever bought this pirate robot, just missed out on all the resources because he didn't know how to hack. Life skills, kids. Enemy! Baron. Now I do look for the next power cell, because I don't think I have one. Power cell required. Not the power requirement. How will I run my 3080 Ti? This place seems terrifying and ready to blow already. And they're all just looking at the robot. Oh. Where the hell are you going? Robot is weird. Robot is a silly boy. Keep going, my boy. Keep 
gone. You know, if it ran out of power, wouldn't it just stop and not go through a whole animation? That requires power to move. And it's only moving its legs. Shoot. Good boy. Dead boy. Resources examined. 5,000 platinum. Neat. Got leveled up from that. Recovered buried cache of resources. Ymir mech unsalvageable. Really, I don't think that was worth it. I can get 5,000 platinum just by doing my own thing. Anything? You haven't said no messages in a while. Are you trying to kill me? We have the amount of probes that I have. Could be no problem for me to get that much platinum overall. But I don't have to really work. Well, no, I guess I had to work for it. So it's a little bit of a bother. Launching probe. It was an escort mission with a giant mech. You'd think that would... I've already done that! That was, fi that was Fallout 3! I already escorted a giant cool robot. And that was to literally, like, destroy my enemies. That, it was just... Mining. Away. Launching probe. How do you make it? escorting a giant robot boring? Away. I should have been holding off waves of geth. But I should have been shooting out monsters coming to take my resources. The man that, like, sent out the, the pseudo-distress call, he should have come back to steal the resources. And he was in a new mech. But no, they didn't do that. Just escort the mech, oh, and there's two Varen that you can one-shot by this point. Well, maybe you could have found it earlier. And 5,000... Would 5,000 platinum even have been worth it at any point? I have detected an anomaly. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Ooh. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure. Scans have found something. Planetary scans indicate that the Sinmara colony is vulnerable to its sun's hazardous solar flares. Malfunction detected in colony of its magnetic shield. Shield must be reactivated to avoid exposing colony to unstable solar activity and potential annihilation. Oh, the annihilation! Interesting that all these places have unique landing animations. I like that. It gives it personality. not even the kind of stock animation from uh, first game. I wonder what's going to be here that's going to fight me off. Or are we just going to walk up and clickety-clack? We're just going to walk up and clickety-clack. So maybe not just walk up and clickety clack. All right, these are getting a bit more rude, stretching them out like that. Well, luckily, I have time on my side. Jerk.
Warning, generator overheating. Oi. I can't activate cooling. Oh. Cooling. Shield generation. And now, shield control. Bibbidi bop. I am the hackster. I am the hacker. I was gonna say that shield seems to only be around this, but no, that shield is pretty large, but doesn't seem to be covering anything. Restored mag magnetic shield keeping Sinmar colonies safe from catastrophic solar activity. Credit reward transferred from Sinmar colonists. And we didn't even have to talk to him. Did he just walk up and fix our thing? Kind of amusing that nobody else thought to do that. And that's it for this place. To the Masarela. More fuel. More fool. I guess we'll go here. Well, wait. I thought there was more thing. Yeah. It was Hades Nexus. To do. And then we'll start doing loyalty missions, and then when we get to Jack, well, basically, yeah, when we get to a loyalty mission, that requires, well, not requires, but when we get to a, a loyalty mission that is in a place that we haven't fully discovered everything from, well, we'll just explore after we, either before or after we do the loyalty mission. A single planet, lol. I have detected an anomaly. At least it's worth it. Surface scan shows evidence of a shipwreck meeting quarry and design specifications. Identity of ship unknown. Number of life signs detected in vicinity uncertain. Local wildlife may interfere with accuracy of biological scan. Hmm. Quarian, you say? Come along, dudes. Level up your energy drain. Now that's a cool sky. I am detecting a single quarian life sign in your location. Judging by the suit's erratic readings, the quarian is badly injured. Commence pilot's record. We managed to escape the Geth's notice thanks to some clever work in silencing Cineads engines. But the strain on the old ship was too much. The best we can hope for is to find a friendly spot somewhere in the shield system. Our reports show that that wasn't extremely likely. We were nervous scouting this close to the Perseus Vale, and we were right to be. At this point, we, I'm afraid we might never see the fleet again. And with everything the Syniad has been through, it seems like an ignoble end. The landing was rough, but we managed to salvage from the wreckage the things we need to survive. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Commander Gorlot didn't make it, leaving me the senior officer in charge. We've scouted the landscape and found the planet to be extremely hostile. We don't dare remove our environmental suits here. We're all hoping to be rescued before there's any danger of exposure. I thought the Corians really couldn't, like, remove their suits for near anything. So that's a bit weird. I guess that's like, if we need to, we can't here kind of situation. I don't know who or what it is taking them, but we've now lost more than half the crew who survived the crash. We hope to build a camp here to survive until the Idna uh, found our beacon, but something is hunting us. I have to keep the crew together the best I can. We will send out a search party when the day comes. I will find my crew, and we will do what it takes to return to the Edna. I'm also detecting multiple native life signs near your landing site. 
Kinda hate that I'm just stealing from them, but hey. They're all but dead. They all died just outside. Forza Vos Edna. Corporean life signs are stabilized. I recommend securing the area in preparation for shuttle extraction. Heads up! Go for the optics. Go for the optics. That's a lot of dead Corians. Damn Varus. Biggest bastards. <laughs> we don't even shoot. Let's get on the shuttle. Haha, <laughs> kick! Kung Fu action. Found and extracted Quarian survivor. Notified Edna of Sinia, the scout ship location. How do they all just die right outside their camp? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander Shepard, please accept my sincere appreciation for your efforts in locating the wreckage of the Cinead. That ship has storied history with both the Migrant Fleet and Cerberus, and we are pleased to know that a wreckage can be salvaged by my people. In finding and stabilizing Lieutenant Forzen, you have returned to the flotilla one of her newest and most honored heroes. Your efforts in furthering the Quarian search for a new homeworld will be remembered. Since we've gone on a few missions, I'm gonna go just talk to all the people that I've do finished, uh, Diddly D with, see what they have to say. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. To talk. Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Okay. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. <laughs> Awkward. Not interested. <laughs> you get hit on? You've had members of other species make a pass at you? Constantly. Very awkward. Skin tone apparently attractive by Turian standards. Huh. A subset of Krogan sexual deviants enjoy Solarian flexibility, more cartilage and skeletal structure. Asari offers intriguing, actually. Wonder why trans species pheromones unlikely to work? Must be neurochemical. <laughs> Thanks anyway. I appreciate you letting me down easy. <laughs> no offense intended. Solarian reproduction different. Very little sex drive. If intended to try human, would try you. <laughs> Glad you stopped by. Cleared the air. That's hilarious. I just like to talk to you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me down easy. I wonder if that means that he is romanceable. But I assume not. I think that's just a funny aha. <laughs> you talk to him a lot, so he <laughs> makes this assumption. It's just kind of funny flavor the text. Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the keepers on the citadel will want something different. Hey, you're getting it, man. How are things in the cockpit? Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. <laughs> okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. 
Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Eddie, Ed, you manipulated him? It beat you at your own game. You pushed your buttons to get a rise out of me. About time you were on the receiving end. Yeah, great. I just got worked by the intercom. <laughs> it was not my intent to breed hostility, Mr. Murrow. But you did instigate our interaction. Okay, but think of it this way. Shut up. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. This is such a funny little interaction deal. I can't really talk to characters who are waiting loyalty, so we have Grunt and Tally, I believe. What if I can access the AI core? Yet. We have to go through medical to get there. Shepard. Want to talk to you? Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. Glad that you're happy. That's all for now. Shepard. I also wonder if they gave us that interaction with Morton because he's nearest to talk to besides Jacob. Will, I mean, as long as we take down the collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. We'll make it through. I hope those death flags aren't so red. Shepard, what can I do for you? Want to talk about you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the pork drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. Hmm. Why do you get sick? I never understood how you get sick from non-Quarian germs. We don't, really. Turian germs are the only ones with any chance of affecting us, since we share amino acid chirality with them. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. Hmm, specifics of illness. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? <laughs> I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. Hmm. Quarry and evolution. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Or were your homeworld just uh, as those of most races, definitely. attuned to you? I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our huh. immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. What about other plants? But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. And that's where the suits came they from? They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting oh. to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. And you're How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. Section seals. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. And suited life sounds difficult. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits, even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. Interesting. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I trust you, too. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. 
I know. Well, not that, that I know, <laughs> but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's probably the it's fever. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always <laughs> like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? <laughs> I'm interested. You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't... Kn you never... Well, good. <laughs> anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. I always like talking to my crew, especially Tally. Tally's the one that I shall romance. Garrus is a close second, but sadly I don't think he swings that way. And unfortunately for him, Tally is here. And loyal. Alright, uh, I'm trying to think. Crew quarters. Samara. The thief. I keep forgetting her name. And then like a split second later it comes back to me. And nope, AI core is still out. I can't believe the collectors were once protein. I always pictured protein being illegal, not giant bugs. That's where the Who knows what the reaper yeah. did. Always nice to talk with the crew. And find the one character, well... Maybe second? Because who knows, maybe there is the gay Garrus opportunity. Too bad for him, Tally exists. And I like her. But especially, I think it helps that we've gotten to know Tally over the course of two games now, as opposed to just Dr. Tassone, which is just like, save crashing ship. Save crashing ship. Journal. Assignments. Let's see. Omega. Packages for Ish. Yeah, we need to turn that in. Blow back communications relay. Captured mining facility. Zaline system. Crescent nebula. And then... Uh, stolen goods found. A cache of transport goods stolen by the transport operator was found and reported to Mr. Fax, the owner of the goods. What? Wait for results. Ah. Let's see. Jacob. Loyalty. Shadow Broker. Loyalty. Hack security notes. Well, when we go back to Ilium, once that clears, I guess, we'll do something. Garrus. Samara thing, so all of them are just diddly do. So save a crashing ship. I was just looking around. Shadow Sea, the Castilian Rift, Hades Nexus, Far Rim. Well, let's go to Pylos Nebula. It's, we haven't been there before, and there's a crashing ship we can save. That'll really get Tally to like me saving a ship. Launching probe. It is nice to have reliable resources. Don't worry, crashing ship, I'll be right there. I'm just uh, scanning all these planets. I doubt we'll actually, like, find anything, because, you know, you exist, you crashing ship. Alright. MSV Broken Arrow. Anomaly detected. Scans detect a rapidly decaying derelict ship in the orbit over planet Janus. Registration matches the MSV Broken Arrow. Ship's manifest notes, volatile munitions, cargo on board. If left undisturbed, the ship's trajectory will lead impact with Jonas. High probability that the crash site will be far gone, Jonas's largest human colony. Get signatures aboard. Ah. So we have to get on there and blow it up mid-orbit, probably. Romance in this kind of game is kind of funny, because they're usually the character you like to have around you the most on your team. Why would you even surrender at that point, dude? Yeah, I just do find it kind of funny. 
Yellow alert. I'm moving the ship to yellow alert we, while we have no signs of trouble. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not so sure we won't turn into Geth, the, won't run to Geth, turn into Geth would be interesting. This far out. We have to be prepared for anything. I've been told it's a terrible idea to go this far out toward Geth territory, but these colonies need to defend themselves. Sometimes I think the only thing keeping the crew from shriveling up in fear is the 100 crates of military-grade weaponry on board. Looks how good that worked. Moving the ship to Red Alert. The Geth are attacking. We're ill-equipped for an attack of this magnitude, but we'll do everything we can to survive this. These colonies need these weapons, and this attack is further proof of how dire the situation is out here. This will be the last entry of this log. In the severity of the Geth attack, I have ordered all hands to evacuate and head toward the colony. Should the Geth succeed in capturing the ship, they also gain control of the 100 crates of weapons in the cargo hold. Therefore, I'm using my authorization codes to scuttle the ship, hopefully destroying the Geth that remain on board. My plan is to disable the ship's engines, thus causing our orbit to decay. This will bring the MSV Broken Arrow down to the surface where the self-destruct will, will destroy the ship. I must be careful if I fail, there's no telling where the ship will end up. Well, congratulations, you failed. I'm so happy they made better, uh, mini-games. Navigation offline. Life support damaged. Engine disabled. Warning: Atmosphere detected impact of planetary in a minute. You'd think if you're like taking a lot of munitions with you, you'd take people that could use that munition. <laughs> Oh, haha, go flying. Oh, I need to go up and around. Maybe, maybe not. How do I get up there? Down here. Gotcha. What? Oh, it fell. This is why I like the sniper. Nice and quick. Power couplings have not been re-engaged. Yes, they fucking have, you asshole. Rockets should not be quick fire. Activate. Alright, so I probably need to go reactivate that too. I'll light him up. God damn it. I can't even get to the ammo, damn you. Engines now active, so I can fly this thing away. Stabilize the MSV, broken arrow. Remaining Geth have disengaged. The colony is safe. I don't even know why that popped up. It just popped up. It wasn't even in the journal. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. 
Normandy crew, we retrieved your identity from the docking data aboard the MSV Broken Arrow. We're led to believe that your crew is responsible for saving our colony from a catastrophic event. Not only did you defeat the Geth and prevent the ship from crashing into the planet in a trajectory that would have destroyed our colony, we also saved nearly a hundred munition crates that would have been lost in the ship's scuttling. Thanks to you, we are safe and can continue the Broken Arrow's work in arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. On behalf of the residents of Fargon Colony, you have our eternal gratitude. No problem. Now we're going to go adventuring the rest of this place. Head here, see... What the... Why is there one all the way over there? What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Interesting and weird. That, that one would, like, require... The uh, the fuel upgrade from Samara. What the fuck? Launched. I am intrigued and horrified by what might be over there. Like it has to be a upgrade only planet. You went over here. Screw you. Upgrade. Launching probe. And again, I think I am good on resources for, like, eternity. And once again, a planet that we're not gonna go down on the surface of. You can kind of tell the planets that we, we can land on. And the ones we can't, the ones we can't are interesting. No asteroid fields in this world, well, this uh, area. So it's going to be interesting looking around for the hidden thing. Oh, undocumented planet. Just got to look for round things. Oh, what the? There's a fucking planet in the moon? What? Reskill is a massive hot Jupiter gas. Okay. Probe away. I think they just like mildly put a planet in the sun. Because like, if we exit... Oh no, it's not that. I just saw... Uh, it's hard to show. Like, this shows it better. There's a freaking planet there. <laughs> but if you come at it from this angle, it looks like a gas giant. Okay, weird. I, I have never seen that before. And now we'll visit all these planets, and then we're gonna head back and get the fuel necessary to make our journey over to the diddly D, the one that is eternally far away. Well, this is an interesting sun. That's cool. Launching probe. Might as well fire one. There's lots of goddamn planets here. as well. Would be interesting to see if there was like a stat sheet that said you used this much resource. I have detected an anomaly. Yeah. Maybe. It, it sounds like words now. I found something. Since just detecting anomalous weather patterns on the planet's surface, Geth activity detected recommend extreme caution. Let's head down there, beat people up. Let's move down there, kill. Let's move down there, beat people up, and win. And win, and win. All right. Hazardous indeed. Do you not have a gun? We've 
been spotted. Dang it. Bring him down. The waifu alone. Which waifu would find cover? what that thing actually is. You really shouldn't go wandering off. I doubt we're gonna find anything that's super worth it. And before I miss, like, the best weapon in the game here. It all just seems to be palladium. Refined. You know, you get refined things that come pre-refined out of the ground, apparently. They've seen us. It's horrible cover. Climate change technology. Use the research computer to shield upgrade. Nice. Sad that I skipped the cutscene, apparently. No messages for you, Commander. Prototypes, heavy weapon ammo, sure. Protection. Hard shield. Shepherd's shields take 20% less damage. And while I'm here, might as well. Shepherd, how can I, want I help? talk about you? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Huh. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Hmm. Family knowledge of work. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other <laughs> secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Hmm. They'd game the system. Well, why wouldn't everyone give clues to their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social. Reflexive huh. body language. You can't fake it. Example. Yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdalar region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but... That's an interesting human. way of putting it. I like that. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine, Galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. 
For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. I like Morton. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. <laughs> yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly, by your standards, don't live much past 40. Ah. And Shepard said that humans live to about 150. Wow. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler. Clear. <laughs> we'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography bit. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case. Regardless. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of want to go and just immediately do loyalty missions just to get more conversations like that. New plan. Side missions on hold. Loyalty missions take priority. Except for that one that's like super far out that we're here right now. We'll finish this diddly do. And then we're gonna go hunt down all the loyalty missions. But talking to Morden is super interesting. The writing, I feel, is like a, a lo it just gives you more opportunity to talk and get to know characters, and I like that in games. Alright, now we're gonna head back to the relay, refuel, and head for the forest fuckboy. Buy fuel. We want all the fuel we can get for this. It is literally off the screen. Definitely need upgrade for this, or at least you need to be super damn precise. Like, that's it. Either you need to be super precise to be able to get there and back within, like, 950% of your fuel, or not percent, but you know what I mean, 950 fuel units out of the 1,000 that you have, or you need the upgrade. Thank God I had the upgrade because I would have been like, I'm going to save and try it. And then I would have gone out and made it at li with like 600 or something to spare. And I'd be like, I could do this. Launching probe. Utterly weird that it's so far away though. There has to be like one. Come on, there has to be one anomaly over here. Why put something super far away if it doesn't have red thing? Anomaly. No anomaly. I am I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Maybe one of these will become landable if we find a quest or something. Disappointed. This is far away. Took almost 500 units of fuel to get here. The game is just like, aha. You have been pranked, bro. Only half our fuel remains. See, I probably would have been able to do it on my own, but it was better to not have had to try. Right, but now we're gonna go. Help Garrus and help Thane. Alright, first we're going to do Garrus with our typical team of Tally Garrus. Then we'll come back to the Normandy and swap out. I've found references to a forger named Fade in CSEC crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Also, yeah. according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Alright, never mind. We're swapping out because 
Sorry, Tally. I wish I could have you with us for this. Just more efficient this way. I found references to a forger named Faye yeah, in you already said. Crime Report, Shepard. Perhaps you think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I know c -Sec too well to believe that's true. Yeah. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. So things have only gotten worse. So let's see. Still wish I could just press J. Meet Fade in the warehouse. Ah, yeah, the warehouse. Travel to the Citadel and search for someone who knows about Fade. So. Yes? Hmm. I'm Fane's son. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. Hmm. Mouse's crime. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. That sounds interesting. Actually, he was selling one of you. <laughs> Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. <laughs> That's pretty extreme, Commander. <laughs> Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. Funny. And duct rat. What was it you called, Mouse? Uh, duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. <laughs> Is that safe? Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. Mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Interesting. Thank you, goodbye. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. <laughs> it sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. Hmm. I don't need to ask why would you help. I, I feel like this guy's nice. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He didn't interfere. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. And come back just yes. so... I'm looking for Fade. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Bastards. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Hmm, you can't find him? Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. Thank you. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Quickly, we'll... I'm Commander Shepard, and this Still... is my favorite store on the Citadel. Easiest damn thing. Guess I'll buy some of these so that they can fill up my goddamn fish tank before they die all right dark star is to the right and there's 
one shop we can take a look at over there before heading over to the warehouse. Yeah, I still have no idea where all my fish went. The recent attack on Horizon has other council species looking to their own security. The Turian fleet is reportedly bolstering its crew complement, while the Salarian Special Tasks Group is reportedly investigating the colony attacks. Well, maybe not the Mech whole deal do. increased as a programming malfunction virus spreads. Ah. Experts warn of the accompanying... I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Go ahead and upgrade heavy pistol damage. I have the money for it, so might as well clear you out. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Let me save before I talk to you, just in case. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse. What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Looking for my sub. <laughs> Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. But, uh, what do you want with me? We're looking for his son. Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. Hmm. You know Thane. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. Hmm. You'd use a child for you that? put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Ah, kind of like if in Oblivion. Seen, the beggars help you. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> Cracking is knuckles. The people I work for? No, <laughs> I'm not going to punch him. I am like a good to man. Help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but I ain't going to die for you. We'll protect you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Hmm. Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Hmm. I missed the chance to ask about the VIs, sad. You did good, Mouse. Yeah, I'll live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. <laughs> hmm, you all right there, Thane? That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black. A dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. Harsh. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyad. Hollow of Mouse. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Harsh. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Yeah, before we do, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, it is along the way, and we're going to be here anyway. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, who died fighting Saren on Vermeer, was posthumously awarded the Salarian Silver Dagger and the Turian Nova Cluster. Williams served proudly with non-human crew members, and was once heard to say, human or alien, we're all just animals. 
That's definitely Ash. Damn well deserving too. Glad that the Salarians go <laughs> and the Turians award her that kind of stuff. She did good. She deserved better, but ah. yes. Finding Kolyat. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum. Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. <laughs> Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He bribes you. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Go ahead and do it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Ah, we can finally go in there. Oh, is he the... We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He had a shifty eye in his look. A shifty look in his eye. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Who's that? Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if c -Sec gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Will do. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Hmm. I want to be the good cop. You be the good you cop. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. <laughs> this is yeah, the interrogation. Strengths, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Spectre. <laughs> we match each other's pose as we walk around him. We're not CSEC. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a CSEC interrogation room? Sure. I should have been you a good cop. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. I may very well swap around. He's out of the loop. Bailey Never doesn't know you're here, but he will. After we're done. This is off the record. No criminal charges will be brought against you. What are you, fraud boy? This little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, um, didn't think you had the balls. Hmm, why well, protect the think assassin? Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? Off the record. You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. We're running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I don't want a renegade. I should have been good cop. Goddamn waste of my time. We'll make it worth your time. How about this? You tell us the target and... I said get out of my way, Bailey. You have no right to... What the hell is going on in here? Step away from my client. Is that... Do you have him tied to the chair? Glad you can make it, Freddy. Traffic was bad. You'll need a shovel the size of the Citadel to dig yourself out of this. I'm a specter. This is all above board. 
I'm a council specter. Shit. What? What's that mean, Freddy? <laughs> Specters can do whatever they want, Elias. I can't help you. Shit. <laughs> if it was you I wanted, I could kill you and go. I want the assassin. Tell me who the target is, and I'll leave. Damn it. Joram Talid. He's a Turian, running for intended of Zakira Ward. Where can we find him? His apartment's in the 800 blocks. Let's go. Hmm. So that didn't turn out terribly. But might implicate Bailey, because I didn't get out there fast enough. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Anti-human? Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. Hmm. Well, that's democracy for If the majority for you. votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Hopefully, things went well. Even though I failed as bad cop. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? About. The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Oh, that's cool. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ah. Gonna quickly save, just in case. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the Council's support. Taking back our ward is only the first step. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the Council. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. Other races wait patiently for hundreds or thousands of years to earn an embassy. Do the humans? No! They win one battle and think they're owed a council. I mean, it was a pretty big battle. We a war before we ask for that honor. That's not how we do things. We respect tradition. Humans think anything ten years old is obsolete. Worthless. How can they contribute to a 2,000-year-old government? Have we seen anything good since the humans moved into Zakara Ward? <laughs> I like their food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. I can't eat human food. But let's be serious. Since the Shinakiba Enclave opened, crime has increased. Incidents of racial tension are up 24%, despite 116 new CSEC officers assigned to the ward. Of course, most of those officers aren't Turians, or Salarians, or Asari. They're humans who turn a blind eye to the crimes of other humans. That corruption goes all the way hey, to the he's not top. wrong there. Don't think a human with a CSEC captain's badge is any less a crook than the thugs he deals with. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha! Thanks. Just remember, it's I think not you all looped. about the human. They couldn't have gained this much power without the council's support. Taking back our ward is... Yep. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. I thought he would actually do something. Position. I didn't... Yes. I thought that would be like, hey, it's been wonderful I with you all. would I follow you after he day. done, but nope. Any sign of Kolyat? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's 
been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I want to be on the one opposite of where he is. No problem so far. Do you have the target? I clicked on it correctly. Maybe I was in a bad position. His bodyguard's leaving him alone. I guess technically I'm not supposed to be looking for call yet. I'm supposed to be updating Thane on this guy's overall position so that Thane can more properly look for call yet. I see him. Why is he running ahead of his bodyguard? Damn idiot. Mind. He found his bodyguard. Fuck. No problem so far. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. What are you doing back here? I'm a health I'm inspector. I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just... Just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss... I've got him. You're gonna fuck this up, boy. Ah! Idiot. Call yet. <laughs> he took down a Krogan, that was Zane. pretty epic. He's heading to delete department. Not even aimed at his head. Call yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Lol. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> I shoot a lamp the boy into custody. and punch him. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Thane's Your dying. doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. 
What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men, the Ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Cole, yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. Hmm. Thanks, Bailey. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. <laughs> I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Yay! Gain the loyalty of the assassin. Thane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions from the mission. Thane's personal matter revealed troubling issues of Citadel politics. May have to support Elias Kelham and uh, similar criminals to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at Seasick offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Thane power unlocked. Unlock new outfit for Thane and heavy damage pistol. Woot woot. Uh, post mission conversation. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. <laughs> we never caught him. Let it go. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. A little bit of corruption in the right place. At least I earned your loyalty, my dude. Hope things went well. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. Those guys were criminals. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. All right, now let's go to Dark Star. Doubt there's gonna be anything new, but might as well look. Nope, nothing new. Come on, please, you have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. Planets in the Nubian Expanse have been experiencing drastic and sudden climate changes. Geth. While initial reports suggest this could be caused by a Batarian orbital mirror system, no such technology is currently located in this area. I'm just glad I managed to not fuck it up with the interrogation the at the start. Oh no, not Dark Star, but the the diddly dee. The warehouse. This looks like the place. The forger's thug should be inside. Well, it looks like we're gonna be killing some forgers. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know. Guess he heard us talking about shit. There's other people in here usually. Even color coordinated as Krogan. <laughs> Volus. Fate, you're not quite how I imagined you. <sighs> Looks can be deceiving. <sighs> so, which one of you wants to disappear? <sighs> I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah. <sighs> uh. <laughs> That's not the service we provide. It is now. Make an exception. Just this once. <laughs> Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them, you lumbering mountains. Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Lol. 
Uh, just like that? <laughs> You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? Let's talk. We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not paid. I just work for him. He holds sort you of. hostage. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Harkin. You know him? Who the hell is Harkin? He's C-Sec. We work together, sort of. He got fired from C-Sec a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Let's get going. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure. Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. <laughs> I oh. love that we just cool. in sync point our guns at him. Uh, I love it. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new office of murder here. I don't think you're in the right place. No, they said to go to where Well, first it's request. So this right here. And uh, factory district. Probably should have saved, but still. Oh, we could have done the whole thing here anyway. Lol. Hmm. What do I want to spend? I'll wait till I can upgrade my ally ability. My parasitic ally ability. I remember these, the high-pitched whir of doom. Well, it'll be nice to have the old crew entirely loyal to me. Harkin! There he is. Shepard? That guy. Don't just stand there. Stop him! Stop him! I forgot. Run all you want, Harkin. We'll find you. We got hostiles. Start shooting. The clean combat. I completely forgot because we never got to talk to him. He would always say, "Leave me alone to my booze," while he was in the. Stripper club. Low knockdown. Oh. Die. Dang it, I missed. I'm a failure. Requesting assistance. Nice. You can't fight a specter, son. I forgot Harkin was the first human C-Sec officer, I believe, who then, like, did a terrible job, but they couldn't fire him because he was the first human C-Sec officer, and if they did, it would look back bad on humans. Well, looks like he is doing a worse Harkin's job. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. 
First time I've heard about your smelling ability. That will come in handy over the years. Incoming. Oh, I think that's a body. Die. Do a little bit of bypass. Well, something blew up. What? How dare you? I was hacking. Luckily, I think it went off just in time. You don't need cover, you want cover. Frickin' Batarians? I thought they weren't allowed here. Or at least, uh, well, they, who knows. Just never seen a Batarian on the Citadel before. Batarian on the Citadel. Madness. Alright, blue. Wrong one's back. I just got hyped up in this. Uh, go super fast, and then I failed. Ah. Getting close. Robots gonna fall from the sky. Weapons ready. Sons should really send out a pamphlet. Stop messing with Shepard. You see Shepard? Run. What about what the, the Krogan? Up to? Find someone who might make use of forged IDs. That's a weird quest. Lots of bypassing in here. Bibbly Bob. We're not stealing. You worked with Harkin at CSEC? Yeah, he was a pain in the ass back then, too. But I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. Hmm. You okay? You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Hmm. Fair enough. Did you see that? Mech? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. Hmm. Harkin. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now. Working for the Blue Suns, I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Don't go too far. You don't need a perk to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. 
Hmm. Warehouse. What do you think Parkins got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkins kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. And, uh, Sedonis. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe. But this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Then let's go get him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Never mind, there's a hack here. Orange, green, orange, going sliding. Hmm. Orange, green with a bit of purple. This might be useful. Sniper rifle damage. Nice. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to go. Why don't you just turn around? We can't turn around. Mess you up, my dude. Their shields are mine. Not really, you're just shooting a, a box. Jesus. Impressive. I know you like snipers. What if he's secretly Sedonis? Harkin's going to regret this. Well, I can't. For a moment, wasn't let me. After Eddie said something about dropping explosions, paranoid. Oh, crap. Two heavy mechs incoming. Do you really think you can take me down, Gary? <laughs> Get in cover, game! It took control away from me and wouldn't let me freaking move. Stumble is such a stupid thing. Take that away. Take it away. Let me control my goddamn character, you asshole. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged Fuck you, game. I hit him. You said, oh, you flick. No, I had him right on. You're just an asshole. That one also hit. The game's a liar. I can say whatever I want and it'll be true because the game cheated me. Lol, friendly fire. Fuck you. He shot me and turned at the same time. That's illegal. I can't save in between waves. All Trump. Harkin's going to regret this. Or will you? Oh, crap. Two heavy mechs incoming. Do you really think you can take me down? <laughs> in cover, he couldn't hit me. That's for 
precisely why I didn't want to fucking move. sent out your two big boys at us and they didn't kill us. I think we're gonna grab you. We're gonna throw you in a crate and mail you to Abu Dhabi. Spacer style. Hopefully that wasn't all you had planned. Come on, there's no way you lost sight of us. You were close, but not close enough. <laughs> Lol. So, Fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you Sedonis. Need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. <laughs> Lol. <Lord. laughs> Wrong answer. We're not here to ask favors, Hargan. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Why? <laughs> be reasonable. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. Lord. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Trash can? Oh, terminal. Going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. Leaps and bloops. He helped a Geth escape so justice. Good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we can do this again real soon. That's fair. <sighs> you can knock him I out. I didn't shoot him. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Sedonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. I'm all for beating somebody up a little bit. But you don't need to cripple him like that, my man. Cripple him after he menace. screws you over. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. You okay? I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Give me a chance. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. Do you really believe that? And before I continue, I honestly think that this might be a little twisty thing where the Blue Suns, because, yeah, the Blue Suns wanted Archangel dead. 
and uh, Blue Angels, oh, Blue Angels, <laughs> the Blue Suns were also protecting Harkin. It's entirely possible that somebody was going to threaten Sedonis's family, maybe? I understand what you're going and, through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sedonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. You're gonna find a sniping spot. I'll go talk to I him. I can get a clear shot from over there. Hmm. How will this work? What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know. I think I've already gained his shot. loyalty because I got the achievement, gained soon. the loyalty of Archangel. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. The powerful one. Good choice. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Come hither, Turian. Nice digs. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Warren Sedonis. I do have saves if this goes really bad. Listen, Sedonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? I want to know what happened. Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Stand Let with me your take friends. Shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick, and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. My food has no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. Don't do it, Garrus. You've got to let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. You're lucky. He's giving you a second chance, Adonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I won't let my friends kill without good reason. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. All right. Hmm. He doesn't want to talk about it, though. All right. Let's go, then. Right with you. I had chills up my back. I was so scared I was gonna lose them. Garrus's traitor has been found and dealt with, leaving Garrus clear headed for the mission. Operatives in CSEC will ensure no criminal charges are filed against him or Shepard. May be able to co opt Harkin's criminal network, sending agents to investigate. Garrus power unlocked. Garrus new outfit. Credits and iridium. I literally do have chills. It's just like fear. 
I stand in fear. Utter fear. The armor is more resilient, reacts better. But it, that's also for everything. And now he can use armor piercing ammo. And I might be able to do that too, if I change it. Let's see. Check journal. It may prove useful to someone. But who would I give it to? <gasps> I know who to give it to! Maybe. Wait, no. I don't think so. Let's walk around. I want to find... I had an idea. It's like, maybe the Corian, but no, they're probably not. I just hope that Garrus won't hate me. It said I ganged his loyalty. I fear. Yes. Hmm. Goodbye. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Wait, this is not. I want to go this way. This First. This is depressing. Only <laughs> find it to read and beat the crap out. In favor of fish, I instead. Uh, I can't believe these humans. No fly lists. What did they turn this place into? Already. Citadel, false positives. An Asarian Zakura where it's having trouble getting authorization to leave Citadel. She's on level 26. 27 near the stairs leading to 26. Interesting. Again, please don't hate me, Garrus. I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Let me help. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. How? They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Risk? Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Hmm. Who should I talk to? Let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? Hmm. Goodbye. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> the pencil pusher. Yo, Bailey! The fuck? Yes? Maybe not. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. All right, let's check journal. Oh, the customs agent passed everything. Kind of weird that if they're Geth infiltrators, why won't you let them leave? Can I help you, sir? Why can't the Asari leave? I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk Geth infiltration. I'm a Revealing specter. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of c -Sex undercover agents. They're not Geth. <laughs> Did you talk with them? Did they seem like Geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. <laughs> I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? Goodbye. I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next. That's hilarious. It's like the lack of flashlight heads. <laughs> Why wouldn't you like talk to them? Again, Geth infiltrators don't look like that. At most, the only thing close to a Geth infiltrator would be indoctrination, and only very specific indoctrinations so? were uh, diddly dee. They'll let you leave. Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? Friendly persuasion. I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Huzzah! I got Paragon. Hopefully they're not actually Geth. I wonder if they're literally the only use for the... Yeah, that was literally the only use for the goddamn IDs. 
That's kind of hilarious. Kind of stupid, but kind of hilarious. But I want to see something. Request new member. He is now loyal. Just nice to see a different outfit. Alright, and now to the Normandy. And after that, I'll go talk to everybody, because we completed two missions there. Oh, and I could skip that, because it's just a leaving. I don't even think it covers up a loading. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Update on the kid. Hey, Shepard, just wanted to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me. Helping me deal with some trash in the wars. Maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if you're Drell and mine are talking. I told them life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there. Hmm. Well, first, I guess, uh, talk to you, see if there's anybody specific. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing. Anything okay. else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. And now we'll head to crew's quarters, talk to Thane, and talk to Garrus. I hope I did the right thing by letting him have his moment of, uh, waiting. Do you need something? Want to talk about you. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event, as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's Neat. difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into... Let's call it solipsism. Solipsism? What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal so, and plastic? super escapism. What about bad memories? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Mm. Memories. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remember the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. Ah! So, you remember every hit? You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. Every pang of guilt. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun doesn't have free will. My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel and accept that it is not always under our control. That's irresponsible. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The memory you had before. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. Silence phone. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. That was unique. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. So what happened? Did you take the shot? Not that day. Well, I have to go. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You're lonely. You spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. You're a good man, Thane. 
The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall, facing the doors. I'm trying to relax, find my center. Hope you find it. And now, time for the awkward part. I assume I've got your loyalty because I got the achievement, but I'm just scared. Shepard, need me for something? Just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. <laughs> whoever else? You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Hmm. Estimation of chances. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. <laughs> I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not if I have my way. I know. Don't worry. Hopefully. I spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Garrison C-Sec. Do you ever regret leaving C-Sec or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. And Turian preparations. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. Full contact sparring? You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. And how did it go? I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. <laughs> we, uh... Ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but <laughs> flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Hmm. And what about Elos? I thought you'd be used to high risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Elos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, <laughs> blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Well, happy that it all turned out good. So long as he's not actually lying to me, plotting his revenge. Hopefully not. And let's go talk to... My darling. Yeah, let's talk to Grunt first, and then we'll make our way. Yeah, he's pretty simple, so he probably won't have much to Shepherd. say. Want to talk? Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's good to hear. That's all for now. Shepard. Well, seems that he's out of conversational dialogue for a bit. But still. And of course, save, just in case. I don't want to hurt my crew. Shepard, what can I do for you? Wanna talk? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. Huzzah!
the super core. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. No, you weren't. You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. What if there were no, hmm. I fear that would be like, let's run away together. I did save. So it's more like, after the mission, everything will be good. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharaohs two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Chief Williams died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. But I want you, because you're a good person. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I, I, I wouldn't blame you if, but... Oh, thank <laughs> you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. Hmm. What can you research? What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immunoboosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details. But trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. Hmm. And there must be options. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases, everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. I'm ready to show you if I can do it without dying. Hmm. I wonder if this is like they immediately jump to it and this is the wait. Because I, I want to be a good person. Because that sounds pushy. I'll wait until you're ready. Whenever you figured it out, I'll be here for you. I'll let you know. I promise. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs. For the mission. <laughs> Nothing to say, just a nice moment. Is there something that draws me to Tally? She's a good character. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot we have upgrades. Damn it. How may I help you? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Thank you, Secretary. Secretary Kelly. All right. AP heavy pistol. Requires a more shotgun damage upgrade. Oh, heavy pistol critical. And reach no uh, advanced training. I want armor piercing ammo. Hell yeah. Alright, let's take a look at this. Wrong map there. Eh, fine, I'll check my journal. So yep. So, let's see, we 
We have Jacobs, Mirandas, Jacks, Ilium, where we uh, hack stuff. So when we go to do Miranda, we'll go to Ilium. Ah, and uh, if we go to Omega, we can drop off the stuff. Let's see. And also while we're there, we can look up the stolen goods found thing. Let's see. Scans to detect eclipse mercenary activity inside a mining facility on planet Helim. Zelen system, Crescent Nebula. All right, let's head to the Crescent Nebula. Damn you. Interesting that I can reach my computer from here. Neat. Yep, uh, they're all here. So, we'll already go. Do a few things here. So is there any down here? I highly doubt it, because that'd be me. Investigate the Eclipse Presence. And then we can disable the Blood Pack Relay. And I'll go down with my two best buds. Nine? Where the hell did I get nine? Oh, because it refunded. That scared me for a moment. Advanced tungsten carbide rounds and discarding sabots increases the damage done by armor piercing. Good. All right, team. We're here to kill Eclipse bastards. Make them pay. Make them squirm. Uh, sniper with anti-armor. Oh, I shudder in anticipation. Hello, little scuttlebugs. Cargo. There's noise. Cargo computer, shipping log. Cargo ship Tur Allen docked and received a large shipment of resources en route to facility in the Drenic system. Tur Allen requested escort for the ship, claiming part activity along route. That'll oh, probably. Give me some place else to go. Get Eclipse Presence. Well, we're doing that. Then we go this way. Then again, this might be one of those we want you to go some do something in there and then continue on route, so. <laughs> Hacking's easy. Alert, we are under mercenary attack. Escort civilians to crew quarters, then return to work area to protect the main computer at all costs. Okay, never mind. So this is probably not much like side thing. Goody goody, thank you, gumdrops. So the Eclipse attacked this place and aren't defending it. Makes me hate you more. Gotcha. 
And these Solarians who live for only 40 years, if they're lucky, join a band. Some shot ready. And they come at me with pistols. You live for such a short amount of time. Flame! Scratch one! You already sound happier. If it's just the same, well, shut up. Don't take away my blind optimism. Ah, power cells. Exactly what I want. I hear you're gunning. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting the bot. Stop existing. Perk bleh indeed, bastards. The real question is, what the hell is here that would cause Eclipse to invade? What would they get out of this place? they want out of this place? What would be so important that they would invade? Oh. Hack the mainframe. Blue, orange, blue. Orange, green. White, orange, blue. Again, not really much to say there. It's just match the pictures. Shipping log, cargo ship received. Large shipment resources, mm-hmm. Encrypted, decrypt. Oh, we're gonna have to fight. And I gave them another act avenue. How about you should mind your mind? Or mind your matter. That must be horrifying for them. You see just a group of people walk out one by one, just getting sh eviscerated by rapid-fire snipers. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of them. Shot ready. That's why I wasn't hiding there. We might be getting... Wow. It's been a while since I've seen a Captain Solarian. If their captain came out to play, surely that's gotta be it. Decrypted data. The decrypted data is incomplete. Further details required to trace Torellan's location. The data has been sent to servers for further analysis. I guess if you wanted to check out for more stuff, you could go and fix the bridge. Well, extend the bridge. Really, isn't extending the bridge fixing a bridge because the bridge would otherwise be broken, just mechanically so? Intentionally. I just realized how weird it would have been if the elusive man did betray us. They would have to change the end screen. How may I help How you? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing. Anything else, Command? Take care. Hmm. Well, up off we go to disable the blood pack relay. 
then we'll head back to Ilium, look for more hack points that we can do for Liara. And various other things. At least I have the majority of my crew loyal to me. Granted, two of them are DLC and we're basically givey, gimmies. But that doesn't lessen the importance. They are crew. Even if I don't take them with me. Yay, I hate you! I remember you, you laying your basically ready to kill monstrosity babies. But I'm just happy that the two members of my original crew are happy, healthy, uh, aren't Damn, like, trying to kill here? me. Attention all workers, stop chipping away at the snow. There's nothing left here to mine. Move on to the other sites. Salamu. I think, isn't Salamu like uh, mentioned? This atmosphere is toxic. Yeah, wasn't Salamol mentioned on the other Blood Pack world? Incoming. I forgot the explode. I was gonna melee it if it got too close. I want to go this way. Raw material. Raw material gives way to refined platinum. You ever see a rock that was that big holding platinum? I wish I could shoot you and kill you. It's just laying traps for me. I wish I had more sniper damage. Where can I get that upgrade? a mining operation by the Blood Pack. Aren't the Blood Pack dead, though? I think I blew them up. They probably don't know, though. I like the design of this world. I wonder what they were doing here. Mining. Didn't work for them. Attention all workers, fall back now. Evacuation shuttles are on the way. Anyone not in the gathering site when the shuttle arrives will be left here of these damn bugs. Whatever fight happened here, it was recent. And they're all Vorchen. There better not be an achievement. It's like, get through this without using the beacons. That's the kind of bullshit achievement some games would have. I don't like bullshit achievements. Material, more platinum. Also, it doesn't matter if this world is toxic if we're wearing our suits. Enemies on our right. Die. Data pad. Salamu, I can't get any more Vortra from Omega. Garm has his own problems. You're going to have to man up and deal with this on your own. Maybe build a beacon path. I bet those damn Vortra are just wandering off into the fog and getting lost. Apparently not. Weird that we found the evacuation order before that one. Is it going to be... For a moment, I thought it was going to be the bug. Standing still. Scare us. Surprise, it is me, the monster. Big bad monster, you scared? You should be. 
still find it hilarious. This is like years ago now, but the loyalty mission for uh, Kasumi. I still find it hilarious that it was a freaking Saren statue made of gold. I could see like a, a thing in there. Like, uh, you know, cloud watching, you look to see the shape of the clouds. It's like, look for the ephemeral image in the smog. Now, I want to play Sekiro one day. One of these days, I'll play Sekiro on stream. I love me Sekiro. Sekiro is probably still my favorite Souls-like, even though I've beaten Elden Fuck. Help. Incoming. I'm on it. I'll beat you up. Yeah, even though I've beaten Elden Ring, Sekiro just has a nice flow and feel to it. I love Sekiro. Sekiro is my personal favorite. Burned. Well, they, they were burning. Salamo, where are the resources? Are you mining out there, standing and waiting for the fortune to get smarter? Our guy on Ilium can't keep the fight lights on off forever. You keep stalling and we'll have a hell of a fight on the way. And that would make me really angry. Just triple check. Yeah, nothing here. Did I miss the radar? Not radar, but the Flippy Flip Tower. I want to complete the circuit. It's nice and pretty. For now, is there going to be a boss fight? Would be weird, but interesting. And I think it's just right down there is the start. I hear chaos. Still a Vorcha left stand? Oh, hey, we kill Solomon now. Now that his barrier's gone. Flame! The Vorcha don't seem to care that I killed their boss. You're gonna pay for that. So they left Salamol. That's hilarious. The big guy that was mostly talk, or maybe, no, I don't know. At the end of the day, one of the named guys was left behind. And that's hilarious. Woot woot. Hilarious that the ammo type also exists in the cutscene. Encountered unclassified hostile alien species, eliminated blood pack forces. I got more heavy weapon ammo. I mean, we've run into this species before. It was on, uh, I forget it. I forget, Tachanka. Was on Tatanka. All right, all right, and now I guess we'll end on Ilium. Well, let's see. Is there? There are a few things on Ilium that I want to do. Miranda's loyalty mission, so you, and my boy. Come with me, my boy. 
It has been a while since we've upgraded you. Arms coordination on the fire team gives an increased bonus to uh, squad weapon damage. Go ahead and level up warp. All right. Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? I did. It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Hmm. What will Thax do what now? to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Need me to find them? Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. That's good. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. Well, happy it to help. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Never met a Krogan that soft-spoken before. Has what? And will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Why did I get Renegade? Um, me sad now. Me sad. All right, Miranda, speak to Antia in the Eternity Lounge. Oh, her! The one's like, I am waiting to talk to someone. Yeah, her. So let's see. Now I need to look around for hack terminals, hackable terminals. And wasn't there anything else? Yeah, it was just a uh, system hacking. Yeah, just system hacking and Miranda and Lair of the Shadow Broker. And I want to do Lair of the Shadow Broker later. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Yeah, like... How to fucking enslave people legally. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Dang it. That's probably another pick up thing. The planet Canalis in the Dorada system recently underwent rapid climate change. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. I got an immediate charity to use. Biotic damage, tech damage, go ahead and buy upgrades. Hell yeah. Let's see. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. He acts like he's a robot. I need a one Could be. I know there was one in here, but might there be another? This is the first time I'm having Miranda with me willingly, because I, uh, I fall example, into complacency. You know that drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charge for 50 hours, plus a... She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood as sorry left in a few generations. So I not all these can be hacked. Her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself. Had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. How dare the Asari choose who they love? Or in some cases, don't. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. I probably should have waited to come here. Damage protection. And I can't get heavy. Amplifier plates, and yeah, it's armor, assault rifle damage, sure. <laughs> Already Her upgraded. First mate, your father? He got her things when he traveled. More ships. It's not a competition. Oh, secure station. Really ah, so this is how I hack. I need to look out for these things, and maybe green ending in orange. Green, purple, leaning, diddly. 
Papa. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Woot woot. I wonder if it's just this one hackable. No, they're all hacked. All right, green, purple. Hopefully it's not down at the taxi. Are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get Shepherd, this is Liara. They should be prohibited from Dang it. What was your father again? Salarius. Oh. So you can sell some Renegade action for helping a friend. In a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. And that's mean. I was just helping a friend. Can I get renegade for helping a friend? Just know if you help friends, that's renegade. Why am I getting so much renegade for helping people? I help Mr. Fax, I get renegade. I help Liara, I get renegade. I could probably save a box of puppies and it would be called renegade. Shepard. It's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Hmm. Is he after you? Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Hmm. What happened? I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Hmm. Come with me. I'll help. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. Hmm. I wish I could. Well, good luck with your plan. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hmm. How are you? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Why is that an option? Why is this is garbage? Well, Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. Not if the Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Hmm. Do you know anything else? Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I'm on. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. You better not give me more renegade.
Yeah, better not hear that. Okay, I got some Paragon. I don't know why I'm getting so much Renegade for helping Lehara. We didn't even help the Shadow Broker in the last game. I hacked some data. That's Renegade. I've hacked plenty of data. Why is that Renegade now? If you're hurting for things to do, maybe you get... Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. Hmm. Tell me about the mercs. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. Who is Nicket? He didn't mention anything about Nicket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Nicket are the only two I trust on this. Hmm. We're altering the plan? Making changes now could be dangerous. Are you sure you can trust Nicket? Absolutely. He's one of my oldest friends. I trust him with Ariana. Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. Will Niket be safe? I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. All right, let's go. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. No one ever plans on the dead man coming back. They'll never know what hit him. We'll never know what Damn hit it. us. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. And this is why you probably shouldn't send people to super sketch places. He probably has a name. We Put gotta kill him. Cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. The answer is no. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Ah, so maybe we don't have to kill them all. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Hmm. Niket not helping. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Captain Anala. Should we be talking to Captain Anyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Hmm. Oriana's age. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, 
but you're not getting away with it. Hmm. I'm with Miranda. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. Works for me. They're not backing down. Tell Captain Inyala to send back up. Wow, you are weak. Enemy combat drone. Gone, engineer man. The engineer is in here. Once again. What? Screw you. Bastard. You're dead. I oh, sure the fucking face is hanging out. Lining up shots indeed. See, I don't need to be renegade to get the upper hand on bitches. Come on, we need to get in the cave. But in the end, I'll side with Miranda over the guy who created a super soldier as a daughter and expected her to stick around. He just tried again. Unless Niket betrays you. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. That's what so I, I figured. She's almost a woman now. You gave her age. Why didn't you tell Never me did. that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. So basically a child. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. Hmm. I'll ask this just to make sure, but I think I know. I can understand choosing to go your own way. But you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made, I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Hmm. Well, we need to get to your sister. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Hmm, area Leia. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Trust in the I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Does your father know him? Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Well, let's, let's go. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. You never know. He could very well still betray you. Still, don't like They're that I wasn't told. They're on the far side told. of the conveyor line. Time your shot. <laughs> We're compromised! Get out of here, Salarian boy. Time resumed at precisely the wrong Friendly point. Dial. Keep the fish back. The cat is nearing the transport terminal. Get 
My worry is that Niket is doing this because he actually believes it to be right. That's my worry. Oh, this is just a secondary way of getting up here. Some machine gun looks scan interesting. Now. Would be interesting if Oriana wanted to meet her father. Damn it. There we go. Just stall them, damn it. Stuck on chair, not chair, but stair. On your six, right behind you. All right, green, purple, green, blue, orange. Blue, orange again. White up in the middle. There we are. Open sesame. Never mind, that's not open sesame. This is valuable. Why do you have a rapid fire rocket launcher? Divert everyone except my guard from the kit. I'll handle him and the kid personally. Never mind. If they're being Dad, sent, I'm not letting her get Oriana. They're being sent specifically to grab us, and the cat hasn't betrayed them. I guess they, that's just kind of both to be like, ah, we can take him. I hate you, Solarian. That was revenge purely for annoying me. Orange, yellow. Orange, green. Purple, blue. Blue sliding off into orange. Side by side. Would have been mean if they were slightly different, but that's not how this game works. They're broad strokes similar. Hopefully, this isn't a hidden timer level. Ah, oh, you spent too long. They got there. Ah. Oh. This isn't the type of game that would do that, as far as I'm aware. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their vault. No rockets. Dang it. Nice aiming there. Deutsch bag. The cat has reached the terminal. He'll switch the family over to our transport. Never mind. The cat. That can't be right. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. <laughs> Elevator music. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? 
Maybe you're sure about Maquette? Did he know about Oriana? Did Maquette know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. You sure about Niket? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Maybe you're right. You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Maybe... Maybe the idea could be that Niket told Oriana, and Oriana wants to see her father. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. And now he's gonna this shoot you. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Lol. This should be fun. Ah, yes. Pistol versus shotgun. <laughs> Bitch! Niket, you sold me out. What happens now? How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness, you weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. Niket's betrayal. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. Hmm. Inala's I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Hmm. Oriana's new family. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? We can solve this peacefully. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Nope. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Faster. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Lol. And then she just gets up. Well, you got what you wanted in the end. Holy shit. Dang it. Finish them? I killed your captain. Get up and your story mission. Oh, fuck! Oh. Big 
cat. Damn it. Big cat. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. This locket has but a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Nice that they put it right at the exit. Can't believe I almost got out of here with her letting the cat go. Only for him to get shot in the back. But shows him what kind of man. I can't believe or, Nick not man. me out. I didn't even see it coming. You couldn't have. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. Because you cared. You would have regretted it. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. That outfit is it's way too tight. Been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted, but there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except the cat. Weakness on my part? Hmm. That's not healthy. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You kept your sister. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. You won't go talk to her? Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. You should speak to her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? If I you're gonna go not. through all this, might as well say hello. Go on. We'll wait here. For a moment, I thought something was going to happen. That somebody was going to... More clips was going to walk out of the elevator. Experience gain. Level squad gain one point. Veranda's sister and her family successfully placed that location redacted. Mother's new job pays well enough to ensure comfort and ease. We'll keep Oriana under observation for her safety only. Miranda Lawson is too valuable to Cerberus, and Oriana's well-being is the easiest means of procuring loyalty. Miranda remains loyal to Cerberus and now trusts Shepard. That's just something I noticed. I don't think I got Miranda is now loyal. But I did get her power. Huh. But I don't remember getting the achievement. It's possible that I just didn't notice. Because I'm dumb. Or maybe it'll activate. I don't know. Nope, there we go. Gain the loyalty of Cerberus officer. Haha! -ha! Now I just need to go find the... It's on the way to the ship. Uh, because she's like, I'm in a call. And usually those people are part of a thing. And all of them are here. Silence fun! How much money do I have? 31,000. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural simulators are compatible with both mine and the Sully. There we go. Oh, I can hack this. Green, green, purple, upper. Justice, you're making money off people's fears. Yes, 
Data point one. Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over watch out for. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? Not yet. Let me search for more data. Thank you. I'll get back. Let me know what you Alright. Tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers. Oh, I'll have to keep that in mind. I was wondering what that was. I thought it was money. Pardon me. I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Don't bother. I can help. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steven. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Yay. I got paid an experience in Paragon points. That's more than enough for me. But I do believe that that will be it for now, because I can end at a half okay time for once, and this is a nice end point. Let me quickly take a look at any points. Points, points. Nope, nothing like news. Alright. All that's left is, yeah, let's see. Jack, Jacob, Samara, and, uh, so yeah, we can finish off the loyalty missions tomorrow or so. It's basically whenever next I play this game. We're gonna finish off by talking to everybody, have a conversation, we can skip that. If we can't skip this. We can't skip that. That was weird. Normally we can skip those. No new messages. How may I help How you? How is the crew? Is anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. All right, we're going to look for, look at our potential upgrades. Go ahead and max out our metagel. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. And that's it for now. Now let's talk to everybody. Shepard, how can I talk I about you? Having talk. trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything <laughs> else? Okay. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Fully upgrade a weapon. I'm one away from fully upgrade. Wah. And I guess, no messages for you, Commander. guess while I'm here, let's go have a chat with joker and Edie. then we'll go down engineering well, actually we'll save engineering for last because that's where tally is and tally is special and it's entirely possible so we might end with crazy thing you figure miranda would ever lighten up a bit and i, I can't even finish saying it yeah how are I things in the cockpit is going well up here quiet enough i <laughs> trouble that's even... no it's nothing i <sighs> son of a very funny, Edie. <laughs> Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Joker and Edie is such a great pair. Can't talk to Jacob because we still need to do his mission. But now we can talk to a lot of people. Lots of people. And I should probably go up and check my space hamster and stuff. Let's talk to Thane. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. Yes, but I could wait. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser cut trembles on the... That's how skull. you found your wife? The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. Ah. That was how I met her. 
She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. Hmm. Your reaction? I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Harashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. <laughs> Mary. How did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, that would be an interesting me. movie to watch. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who? Who came for her? Latarians. Of a course. Of preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the shadow would, broker to uh, find out who I was. That was a flash screen. But they were afraid of that me. That was weird. So they went after her. Go on. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them, I let them linger. Your body did, not your soul. I like Thane enough that I'm willing to meet his way of thinking. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. The only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. You're my crew, Thane. The worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Always nice to talk. Alright. We'll chat with Garrus and... And then we'll face that and hope I don't accidentally romance her. We already came... Well, luckily, it seems that they give you an out relatively simply. Shepard, need me for something? Just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for ah. a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. All right. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Seems we're out of conversations with Garrus. How can I help you, Commander? Need anything? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. Just want to make I sure you didn't need any more. Back to work. Back to work. Open sesame. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. No problem at all. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. You liked him. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket, after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe. Comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Hmm. What about Oriana? Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Hmm. Will you stay in touch? Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. And it's too personal to say that, so I'm glad I could help. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. He hired the wrong people. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. 
Huzzah. So now I think I got the... Wish I could check out like my full squad. I'm Max Paragon! I can do anything I want now. Like murder David! Who is David? No one knows. Well, uh, walk on by, see if these two have anything to say. No quips. As always, say before, talking, just in case. Shepard, what can I do for you? Hmm, wanna talk about have you? you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? Hmm. Only if it's safe. I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine. To share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. Oh, he's just nice talking. I also kind of find it funny they put the... I wouldn't say the wrong one, but the one that's like, no, it's too dangerous in the Paragon spot. There's all my fish. I think they're all dead. Nope, they're moving. Good for them. And now they're all gone. Look at my ship collection. Still hilarious that they frickin' have a... That they frickin' have... A sovereign. Well, with that, with that, that shall be it. No messages for you, Commander. Next time, we will probably do Jacobs, Jacks, and Samaras, because they shouldn't take too long. Yep, Jacob, Jack, Samara. And then we will, uh,. I guess hold off on Liara's stuff, because I feel like we've pushed off the story stuff a bit. Oh, and we can do packages for Ish once we go with Samara's diddly D. But hey, we'll be cool, we'll be cool. But that will be for next time. I hate that the lighting makes my hair black. Damn the lighting. I look like a monster. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel of edited content, pondering of making simply edited videos there in the future to just, like, throw things out. It's Neon Icy Wings. Then I also have an archive channel. Channel. I said that weird. Archive channel. A Neon Icy Games, where all of these streams end up eventually. And if you're one of those people watching the archives right now, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And if you want even more from me, I also try to upload art occasionally. I swear, I'm working on things. At Tumblr, Twitter, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.